Brother Billy. What up, Brother Anthony? Brother Billy, I just want to take a little time to talk about something personal. Mm -hmm. Well, it's personal to me, is I mean, it's like, well, at this one. You see, I travel a lot in the world, and, you know, you realize that, well, you know, people do look alike. Doesn't matter what, you know, like you might sometimes find somebody in Brazil or even in, in, in Laos or even in, you know, Sri Lanka that looks like you or reminds you of somebody back home. Mm -hmm. So I understand that. A lot of times I used to travel, I used to have long locks, you know. And so because they ain't never, when I was traveling, they didn't see, they didn't see like black Americans a lot. So, you know, black Americans with locks, you know, the place I would go, they, little hovels. So they would say something like, Bob Marley, Bob Marley, because that's all they knew, you know, <laughs> like mm -hmm. that. I understood that, no problem, no problem. But, Oh, wait a second. Talking about Bob Marley. Here's a funny thing. In my office, you know, when I was arts director uh, at WBAI Radio, in my office as arts director, you know, well, the arts office, the arts department, I had I had my desk this little skewed, and then behind the door there was this big poster, you know, and it was of Lucky Doobie. Mm -hmm. You know, when he had his locks, you know, and his, you know, the, the late great, you know, peace and blessings upon his soul, you know, died tragically. Mm -hmm. He's South African, you know, but he's a big poster, and he had his, he was looking for when his locks was coming down like that. So I had my locks. So people would come in the office and they see the poster, they look at me, see the poster, look at me, <laughs> they get confused because I look just like Lucky Doobie. <laughs> so I understand that like, kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I ain't taking it. Well, it's no, no offense taken, you know. But here's the, no, but aside from that, you know, I'm, I'm not even really, Lucky music is cool, you know, Bob's music is cool, but I'm more of like a Peter Tosh, Alpha Blondie kind of guy, you know what I mean? But what other than that, you know. Okay, so here yeah, I'm traveling in South Africa, I had cut my locks, you know, and then something started to happen. People started to call me like, they would say like, uh, Denzel. Mm. And I'm going like, I don't look like Denzel Washington. <laughs> yeah. Do you saying yes? I'm saying no. Look, let me explain something to you. I saw Denzel in a soldier's play, you know, Robert, you know, uh, Charles Fuller's play, the soldier's play, you know, on the, you know, off Broadway there, they know, I I saw Denzel in the park doing Richard III, you know, Shakespeare in the park. So I know what Denzel looks like. Okay, I do admit that he came to South Africa. He was doing a film called, uh, uh, a uh, safe house, something like that. Uh, from mm. there, in Cape Town, longer, and I was actually an extra on the set. They asked me personally. I was supposed to do this scene inside that, that where he's trapped in the embassy, and I did have my beard long at the time. And in this first scene, Denzel had his beard long. And truth be told, if you look at that poster for the safe house, I do look like him then with the beard. But hey, I got the North Carolina gap. Mm. Denzel ain't got no North Carolina yet. Yeah? He from Mount Vernon. Well, I'm from, so I'm from the South Bronx. So, you know, that's as close as we got. He went to Fordham University. You know, I understand that. But before that, I was at Theodore Roosevelt High School, which was right across the street. So there's some sort of weird, you know, but, but I don't look like no Denzel. I'm sure Denzel would get a little offended. No, I mean, I'm older than Denzel, so Denzel look like me. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't put that on Denzel. I don't want to take no offense you know, to his, you know, people like that. But it's annoying. Mm. Well, it's annoying to me. Everybody thinks it's a compliment. I say, nah, I'm D, D versus T. No, it's our T is no, <laughs> no. T is T and D is D. <laughs> and I guarantee I ain't D. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, just, I don't want to waste a lot of time. Just a little personal note. Just a little levity on the, you know, one of these nice, beautiful South African days. You know. So let me, one more thing about Denzel. You no, know, right there in East London, they got that statue of Steve Biko. And when Denzel was doing that movie about Steve Biko, you know, with, with Kevin mm -hmm. Klein and the, and the late uh, Richard Attenborough director, whatever, the, um, um, they, they, they did a statue there. So all their names were on there because I guess they contributed to that statue. So a little South African fact there, just for people to know if they want to see the statue of Steve Biko with Denzel Washington's name, a bunch of people's name on there, that they can go to East London to, like, in front of the big thing in the Main Street. Because See the statue. Just a uh, that hey, that's a little information on the dispatch. Dispatch that would be from me, T. You know, the arts director emeritus. You know, uh, I'm, I'm T. But you see, I'm from the Patterson Project, South Bronx, not Mount Vernon. You know, and I'm, I'm actually you know taking a train to Tibet, and I guarantee, I'm telling you something that I only suspect. <laughs>